Hey everybody, I am back with another video. Um, this video is in regards to UBI. What is UBI? UBI is Universal Basic Income. And this is something that has been approved by many people, including Bernie Sanders. So the whole idea of UBI, um, you probably heard of it by a presidential candidate for 2020, Andrew Yang, and he says that every American over 18 should get $1,000, no matter what status that they are in. Whether they're rich, middle class, or poor, they should all um, benefit from this. And the whole reason for this UBI is because technology is taking over jobs. So because many people will be booted out of jobs, this is supposed to um, help people come up out of poverty as well as just help other American citizens who are not in poverty just to boost the economy. Universal basic income is a policy where every citizen gets a certain amount of money every month, regardless of their work status or anything else going on in their lives. Under my plan, every American adult between 18 and 64 will receive $1,000 a month, free and clear, no questions asked, doesn't matter if you're working, not, what your income is, $1,000 per adult per month. We're going through the greatest technological and economic shift in our history, and we need to accelerate our society and government to keep pace with the challenges of 2020. We've already automated away millions of manufacturing jobs, and we're about to do the same thing to workers in retail, truck driving, call centers, fast food restaurants, and on and on throughout the economy. So this plan, the $1,000 per month plan, was studied by the Roosevelt Institute, which projected that it would grow the economy by $2.5 trillion per year and would create 4.5 million new jobs. $12,000 a year is enough to push an American up to just about the poverty line, which is a little bit more than $12,000 per year. So there's like all of the, the big, oh, it's going to grow the economy, it's going to create millions of jobs, it's going to create all of these new businesses, which it totally will. Uh, Finland did it, so many people are talking about it in America. There's Alderman in Chicago that's talking about doing a test run in as well as California. They're working very hard. They're working one, two, and sometimes three jobs. Mm -hmm. They're working uh, until there's nothing left. Amaya Puar is a Chicago alderman who's proposing a UBI pilot program for the city. The trial would provide $500 every month to a thousand families each using donations from wealthy UBI supporters. Chicago would join Stockton and Oakland, California and Finland in experimenting with small scale UBI trials. So imagine getting 500 bucks every month just for existing, with no strings attached. That's exactly what some people in a town in California will get to experience as part of a test of something called universal basic income. Fox News' Claudia Cowan is in Stockton with the details. Claudia. Well, David, the plan is to give some of Stockton's poorest families, as you mentioned, $500 a month for a year to see if that can lift their spirits and put them on a path to prosperity. Listen. If you give people a base amount that they're receiving regularly, that can really be a hand up that helps them to really gain their own economic success going forward. It is a real world demonstration of universal basic income, paying people just for being alive. It's a popular concept in Silicon Valley amid fears that automation will wipe out jobs and a tech-based nonprofit is funding Stockton's cash giveaway through a $1 million grant. A while ago, Bernie Sanders was introduced that question and he said he agrees with the UBI because he knows that the technology taking over jobs and then these are real issues. But he doesn't think America is at that point right now of trying to actually implement the UBI. First question is, you support minimum wage for all Americans. Do you, Sorry, sir. Do you, you support minimum wage yes. for all Americans. Yeah. Do you also support a UBI, the universal basic income? I do, but that is not where we are. I think that is a very correct idea. In other words, what that essentially says is that no family, I think it's Finland that's beginning to move in that direction, is that right? Uh, yeah, I think also it's yeah. Finland, and yes. I, and I absolutely Sweden, support, but right now where we are, I mean, that's kind of a step too far right now for the United States. Now, everyone knows that reparations is well overdue because it was owed to us and we never got it. We've had centuries of um, being enslaved. Now, after slavery was over with, it did not end. 
we were still oppressed in many ways and could not benefit from a lot of the things that were supposed to be afforded for every American citizen, although we were not even considered 100% human beings. We've even had um, Aetna, Chase, and um, Wachovia, now Wells Fargo, as well as other companies that even benefit off the back of slaves. However, we're not owed any slavery. Hell, the least we could do is get free health care and free and 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 um and free banking solutions and free and and free money or or some loans if you're if you're um gonna benefit off us at Na and Wells Fargo and Chase. But we can even get money from the government. But the government can provide head right from those who were indentured services for around seven for about seven years. Um, um, but I just think that it's amazing how UBI can be a talk because people are afraid of losing their jobs, but blacks have lost their, lost their lives and their freedom and stolen from their family, their identity stolen. And we can't talk about reparations. We can't talk about money. But when it comes to American citizens, and everyone knows that when you say, American, we, we, we're we talking about only one group here. When you talk about it, it is odd that we can talk about UBI when people feel they're going to lose their jobs, but we can't talk about reparations for something that's inhumane. I want you guys to tell me what you think. I already know how Bernie Sanders feels about reparations. He feels that it's divisive and it's something in that... Um, Reparations should be just helping all Americans with issues regarding poverty and mass incarceration. And in doing those things, it would in turn spill over and help black Americans. It seemed like this week you've been kind of dodging the reparations question. Uh, to my mind, it means that we have to deal with the fact that there is enormous disparity uh, between the black community and the white community. And that issue has got to be addressed. And I've indicated to you some of the ways that I think it should be addressed. Well, I think they mean uh, some type of economic empowerment to the African descendants of slaves. But what does that mean, economic empowerment? I just talked about the mm -hmm. fact that I would do my best to change the banking system to make sure that we end racism, that we pay attention to distressed communities, that people get the loans they need to make the investments they need. What yeah, about so free cash payouts? No. How much you want, Sean? agree with that? <laughs> why, why, why don't you agree with that? Well, I, first of all, uh, you mean just a check to every African-American? Yes. Well, then there's a check to every Native American who were nearly wiped out when the settlers first came here. I think the way we go forward is to build America together. What yeah, about so, free cash payouts? No. How much you want, Sean? Do you agree with that? Why, <laughs> why don't you agree with that? Well, I, first of all, uh, you mean just a check to every African-American? Yes. Well, then there's a check to every Native American. Again, his goal, like many others, is to help all Americans and that will spill over and in turn help black Americans. Like everything else in this country has just helped uh, all Americans and then in turn help black Americans. Although we are still the most oppressed with the highest mass incarceration rate, with the highest poverty rate and unemployment rate. But you're doing things to help all Americans. I mean, with that logic, that's like having 10 kids that right now are malnutritioned. They have no food. And then you have 20 other kids right next to them that are nutritioned. And you decide you want to give all of them one piece of bread and say, well, if I give everyone one piece of bread, that in turn help the other um, kids have food too. No fool. The other kids still going to be hungry because they've had a whole bunch of meals that were skipped while the other kids are just snacking. Okay. Going to have to give more food to the ones who are malnutrition so they can get up to the level of those who just ate three hours ago. So stop acting like you have a high IQ and that we're supposed to go, oh, you're right. If you help all of us, we'll get better too. No, that's not how it works. So while everybody's over here witching and moaning about how they're going to lose their jobs and how they the government needs to help them, um, what happened to them bootstraps y'all were talking about? The bootstraps that black people need? The ones where you gave us boots without laces? What happened to that? So, I think that 
if you want to talk about um, providing UBI, then we need to keep having this conversation about reparations. Not just Bernie, but everybody. And who cares what everyone else thinks? All these other average smojos saying what they think blacks need. Who cares what you think? The government needs to go ahead and provide reparations because it's needed. And now you can't say you don't have the money because if you guys are trying to sit here and figure out how you're going to give all American citizens some money through UBI, that means you have the money. You have it. So you guys tell me what you think. Comment, subscribe, hit the like button. Hashtag ADOS.